All right, Seabass here with Step by Step Dance. We got Will DeVeese. How you doing, man? Good today, man. Uh, great energy. Glad to be at Pulse. Just watched uh, some of Brian Freeman's class. Mad inspiring, man. Kids are crazy. <laughs> With Collective Youth, you're doing something with Outsiders, all boy group, right? Yeah, yeah. A um, thing that I really wanted to focus on was um, with Outsiders. I was on ABDC myself with the All Guys crew, um, season 60 Collective Gentlemen. And there's been the Iconic Boys, and now you have Eight Flavors, which I've worked with some of them too. Um, I feel like now there's this age of boys, you know, 14, 15, 16. It's not as young as Iconic Boys, or not the adults, but they're young men that are really good, and I, I wanted to get a group. Of kids together, not even to have a crew. I don't even like. Call, I don't even want to call it a crew. Yeah. Outsiders is like a company, and we have one kid like Jake Landegree, redhead, freckles all over his face. You know, coolest kid you could ever meet. Um, and then you have people like Nathan Moss who moved from Minnesota. It, it's kind of like they kind of foreshadow my life, and you know. I'm from Indiana, and people. And I, even when I say that, people are like, really? After they see me dance, you know, yeah, from yeah. there, we didn't know people could get down from whatever, whatever. So it's kind of this group of kids that are kind of the underdogs. Mm -hmm. And that's what um, I love about all of them. There's five right now, and we hope to like make it a bigger company and you know grab more kids like that. But it's basically just trying to send a positive message of you can be you and still dance and, and be an individual, right. and that all fits together. Uh, and oh, tonight they're gonna smash, man. I'm excited. <laughs> they, they do everything, everything, so it's good. And yeah. uh, anything coming up soon? What's soon? Um, soon, I'm, I'm going to France at the end of this month to teach. Um, I'm supposed to teach with Salah. I don't know Ooh. if I'm hopefully he's still doing it. Um, we'll see. So France is coming up. Like I said before, I uh, <laughs> I um, I left tour, so I kind of um, just made a huge decision, the biggest decision I've made in my career, where I, I walked away from choreographing and dancing with T-Pain. Which a lot of people are like, why would you do that? And I just um, I want to express myself. Money's yeah. always going to be there, um, and you can I can I can go to school and get money. I want to branch out and, and share what I have and, and my ideas and stuff like that. So hopefully things will pick up. Um, right now, just YouTube, yeah. Beast 9688, man. I put out videos almost every week, um, and numbers are growing, experience is growing. So just trying to work with the kids, do that, and uh, hopefully start working with the artists. And yeah, Hip Hop International, Pulse, Monsters, anything I could be a part of that I have, I've ever went to as a kid is what I'm trying to get into now. So Good yeah. stuff. Will the Beast. Let me roll this up. You guys need to remember. <laughs> yeah. There it is, so, there it is. Um, if I could say anything to you guys, man, it would just be, be yourself. I Sometimes people get stuck, even me, I've been in LA for three years. It could even be, it could be a week, it could be a month that you try to go do what somebody else is doing already or feel that you have to try to fit in because people are telling you the way that you're doing it is wrong. Do you, do you at the end of the day, no matter what, because being original and being yourself is like the best thing that you can be there. That you can only be the first you. You know what I mean? You don't want to be the second rated version, version of anybody. And also remember why you started dancing. When jobs start happening, which they will, and, and you know, people start noticing you or YouTube starts happening, don't let YouTube get in your head. Don't let it happens to a lot of people and choreographers. Um, stay humble and, and remember why you started. This is supposed to be fun because, you know, the money. Like I said before, we're dancers, so the, let's keep it real. We're on the bottom of the, the barrel when it comes to entertainment. So, like, if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, you should stop. <laughs> like that point blank period. And I would, um, I would really say, at the end of the day, um, it, it's about a feeling. So you should, you know, the way that you feel when you dance, or the way that people you 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 are striving to make people feel when you dance um, is the most important thing. And that's what I do with my choreography. I want people to get up out of the seats or at least be like, uh, like every time I have a piece, just go go in, go hard, and dance every day, man, because we could be gone any day. I've lost friends this year, you know. Obviously, the reason why I started doing this was Michael Jackson, and this, the day, the week after he died is when I moved to LA. That was my biggest, like, thing. I had to go. And him being from Indiana, that was my inspiration. So dance as much as you can. Don't take any days off, and don't take it for granted. There's so many kids that can't do what, we, what we're doing and adults, so. That's what I would say, and shout out to Step by Step, step, by step Dance. Um, big ups to them. Subscribe, do whatever, tweet, Facebook, follow, everything. Um, it's all love, Will the Beast. I'll see you guys soon, and yeah, peace.